his teacher. Children, suppose you have six chocolates. If you share them with your sister, then each of you get three chocolates. The same six chocolates, if you share with your sister and brother, then each of you get two chocolates. In mathematics, sharing means dividing. Let us know more about them in our chapter. Let's share from the APSERT Mass Magic class. Before entering the lesson, let's have a glance at the recap of the previous module. Children, let's look at the recap. Children, in the previous module, you learned about how to do divisions, relation between multiplication and division, division of two digit number by one digit number, division of two digit number by a one digit number with reminder. Next, division of three digit number by one digit number. Right children? Now, before entering the lesson, let's have a glance at the overview of the chapter. Now, let's have a glance at the overview of the chapter. This chapter is basically divided into three parts. They are observe and understand, dividend with zeros. Second one is even numbers and odd numbers. And the third one is try these. Now, first look at observe and understand dividend with zeros. Children, here you have to observe and understand dividend with zeros. Look at this example. 560 divided by 7. Look at this division children. Okay. Now, let us see step wise. If step 1. Start division from the highest place value number. Here, the highest place value number is 5. That is 5 divided by 7. But, here, 7 is greater than 5. That is the highest place value number is greater than the divisor. Now, look at step 2. Here, you have to carry down 6 in tens place. Then, you have 56 tens. Now, 56 divided by 7. How much do you get? 8. Then, Reminder, 56 minus 56. How much? 0. Okay. Now look at the third step. Here you have to carry down 0 in 1's place. Now we have 0, 0. Okay. Then, remainder will be 0. Okay, children. Here you got dividend 560. And divisor 7. And look at this note here once. In 0 at 0, as initial 0 has no value, so the answer is 80. Look at this quotient, children. Here you got quotient 0 at 0. If you look at the example, here quotient is 0 at 0. Here, in the initial uh, place, 0 is there. That 0 has no value. So, how do we read it? Yes, 80. Quotient is 80. Very good children. Now, I will ask you a question. Try to answer it. Children, look at this division. 306. Divided by 6. 
you children you do this division and tell the correct answer how much did you get 51 or 71 have you done children see look at the division yes here how much did you get 51 yes 51 is the right answer very good now look at the next division children now look at this division you do this division and say the correct answer 384 divided by 3 have you done how much did you get 124 or 134 or 128 how much did you get children let us see the division see here children after doing this division how much did you get yes very good children 128 now let us continue the exercises children now read this problem and try to solve it The strength of a school is 695. If five students can sit in one bench, how many benches are required? See children writing how you have to write. First step, strength of the school is equal to how much should you write here? 695. Then number of students sit in one bench. how many children five students right now number of benches required is equal to here what you have to do children yes very good division 695 divided by 5 do this division children see i am doing here you also try to do along with me see after doing division how much did you get children how many benches are required very good 139 benches are required to sit 695 students in each bench five students okay very good children now let us continue this exercise children now you read this problem and try to solve it 700 students are divided into six groups how many students are there in each group how many are left over okay children here how many students are there 700 into how many groups they have divided 6 here you have to find out number of students in each group and how many are left over all right children now write the steps for you number of students Yes, very good. Seven hundred. Next, number of groups. How many children? Very good. Now here, number of students in each group. To find this, what you have to do, children? Very good. You have to divide. Seven hundred divided by six. isn't it if you do division then you get the number of students in each group okay now try to do this division along with me children look at this division see here how much 
Quotient did you get here? Yes, 116. So, number of students in each group will be 116. Okay, children. Now, the next one, what you have to find out? How many are left over? Isn't it? See here. Number of students left over. If you look at the division, how much remainder did you, did you get there? Very good. 4. That 4 is number of students left over. Very good children. Now, let us look at the next problem. Children, we are going to know about even numbers and odd numbers. Okay children. First, you observe the following divisions. Look at these divisions. You have to observe carefully. Okay. What did you observe? What is reminder in all the above divisions? Tell me children, what is the reminder? Zero. Very good. It means 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 are exactly divisible by divisible by 2. Very good children. So, such numbers are called even numbers. Okay children. Now, look at this definition. Any number that can be divided exactly by 2 is called an even number. It means always the remainder will should be 0. Ok children. Now let us do some exercises on even numbers and odd numbers. Ok children. Children even numbers and odd numbers. Look at this. You have to observe the following divisions again. Here are some divisions. You have to observe them. Look at this. Observe these divisions children. Okay. Here, if you observe all these divisions, what did you understand? Okay, I will ask you one by one. What is the reminder in all the above divisions? Look at the divisions and say children, what is the reminder? Very good. One. Next, it means that 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are not exactly divisible by 2. Very good. Okay. After observing all these divisions, you have got an idea. These numbers are not exactly divisible by 2. Right. So, such numbers are called odd numbers. Okay, children. Now, look at the definition. Any number that cannot be divided exactly by 2 is called an odd number. Now, did you get an idea about odd numbers and even numbers children? Very good. Now, let us do some exercises on it. Then, let us do this exercise. Here, 1 to 30 numbers are given below. Circle the even numbers. You have to circle the even numbers children. Look at this. 1 to 30 numbers. Now, circle the even numbers. Do you know what do you mean by even numbers? Then any number that can be exactly divisible by 2 are called even numbers. Did you recall it? Okay. Now circle the numbers. Very good children. 
here 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 these numbers are even numbers very good children you try to do this again okay now write all the circle numbers here 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 and 30 these are even numbers. Very, very good. Now, let us continue this activity. Children, now look at this. 1 to 30 numbers are given below. Circle the even numbers. You did it previously. Here, what do you mean by even number? Let us recall once. Any number that can be divided exactly by 2 is called an even number. Right children? Now 1 to 30 numbers are here. You know the definition what do you mean by even number? And you have circled the even numbers. Now next what you have to do is write the circled numbers. Okay. Here circled numbers you have to write. And next what you have to do? Write the digits in one's place of even numbers that is circled numbers here whatever numbers are circled in that number you have to write one's place value here look at this 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 4, 6, 8, 0. Did you observe it? In one's place, 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. Repeating, isn't it? Did you like this activity? Very good. Now let us continue this activity. Then, now look at this. 1 to 30 numbers are given below. And here you have to circle the odd numbers. Right? Look at these numbers. 1 to 30. Here what you have to do? You have to circle the odd numbers. Let us recall once what do you mean by odd numbers. See here definition. Any number that cannot be divided exactly by 2 is called an odd number. Isn't it children? Did you recall? Yes. Now circle the odd numbers. Very good. Next see children. Write the circle numbers. Here you have already circled the odd numbers. Those circle numbers you have to write here. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27 and 29. Okay. These are odd numbers between 1 to 30. Okay. Now let us see the next one. Write the digits in one's place of odd numbers. Okay. Here. In one's place, whatever number is there, that you have to write from the circled ones. Look at this. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Again, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Again, it's repeating. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Is it, it is very interesting, isn't it, children? Yes. These are odd numbers. Okay. So here 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is uh, repeating. 
if you take 1 to 10 numbers or 11 to 20 numbers or 20 to 30 numbers or 30 to 40 numbers it go on continues like this okay very good children now let us do another activity on this now look at this activity here you have to write digits in one's place of even numbers circled already in the previous exercise you have circled even numbers isn't it now you have to write one's place of even numbers that is circled look at them 2 4 6 8 0 again repeating 2 4 6 8 0 these are the numbers in one's place of even numbers that is circle okay children now next thing you have to write digits in one's place of odd numbers uncircled okay already you circled odd numbers then you have to write one's place of odd numbers uncircled what are they 1 3 5 7 9 again from 11 to 20 if you take the same numbers are repeating 1 3 5 7 9 again from 21 to 30 the same numbers are repeating 1 3 5 7 9 okay children now what do you observe here odd numbers have 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in their ones place. And even numbers have 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in their ones place. Isn't it children? Did you observe it? Once again, you go to the table of 1 to 30 numbers, circle even numbers, circle odd numbers, uncircled numbers, numbers in one's place, everything you do, do it again. Okay, children? Now, let us move to the next exercise. Children, look at the next activity. Try these. You have to match with the next even number here. Here are given some numbers. Huh? Then you have to match the next even number look at this 38 the next even number for 38 is 40 now look at the next one tell children what is the next even number for 46 very good 48 now next 84 the next even number for 84 is 86 well done children children try this activity here you have to match with the next odd number here are given some numbers odd numbers and you have to match with the next odd numbers look at this try children try to do this 135 match with the next odd number Yes, 137 is the next odd number for 135. Now look at the next one. 847. What is the next odd number for it? Very good. 849. Now look at the next number. 965. What is the next odd number for 965 children? Right. 900. 67. Well done children. You have done very well. Now look at the next problem. Now look at this activity. Try these. Okay. Which of the following are even numbers? Why? Look at this. 784. 835 and 963. Here, 
which of the following are even number student 784 very good now look at this definition any number that can be divided exactly by 2 is called an even number which means remainder will be 0 ok just for recalling I gave you a definition again huh? well done children now let's move to the next exercise children now try these which of the following are odd numbers why 645, 237, 840. Among these, which of the following are odd numbers? Tell children. Yes, 645, 237. Well, children. Now, why? See here, the reason is any number that cannot be divided exactly by 2 is called an odd number, which means remainder will not be 0. Very good children. Now, let us do another problem. Children, now look at this exercise 2. Fill in the blanks. Here is a simple division. 55 divided by 55. Try children. Answer is 4 or 3 or 1. What is the right answer? Look at this division. After doing this division, what did you get here? 1. Now, let us do another problem. Now, look at this children. Fill in the blanks. 175 divided by 5. 45, 35, 15. What did you get children? Do this division and Tell the correct answer. Do division along with me children. Yes. What did you get? 35. Yes, actually. Now let us do another exercise. Now look at these children. In this exercise we have to fill in the blanks. Here 25 into 20 is equal to 500 given okay so you have to fill these blanks here see dash divided by dash is equal to dash and dash divided by dash is equal to dash with what numbers you have to fill this here already given clue to you that is 25 into 20 is equal to 500 see here 500 divided by 25 then what do you get 20. Okay. This is one way. In another way, how do we write? Again, if you take 500, previously you divided with 25. Now you take 20. If you take 20, if you divide with 20, that is 500 divided by 20 is equal to, what do you get children? Very good. 25. Okay children. Now, let us do another exercise. Children, now look at this. You have to fill in the, fill the blanks. What is given here? 12 into 13 is equal to 156. It is given. Now, you have to fill the blanks. 156 divided by dash is equal to dash and dash divided by dash is equal to dash. In this dash, you have to fill with the numbers. You are already given clue, 156. If you divide 156 with 12, 
Then what do you get? 13. Very good. This is one way. Now another way. If we take 156 again. Previously divided with 12. Now good. 13. Means if you divide 156 with 13. Then what do you get? How much do you get? 12. Very good children. Now let us do another problem. Children, now see exercise 2. In this, what you have to do is divide and write dividend, division, quotient and remainder. Children here, one division is given to you. Okay. You have to do this division and you have to write all this. Now first you do this division children. Look at this table. Just to recall fifth table. And then you do this. Do along with me. Okay. 60 divided by 5. 5 twelve are 60. Very good. Now what is dividend here? Dividend is. 60. Divisor 5. Quotient is 12. And the remainder is 0. Okay. We have to learn this terminology. Today. What is dividend? What is divisor? What is quotient? What is remainder? All these you should know. Okay. Now let us do the next problem. Now look at this problem children. You have to write here again. Divide and write. Dividend, division, quotient and remainder. Look at this problem. 79 divided by 8. Do this division. For doing this division you should know 8th table. See once read and recall 8th table. Okay. Now you do this division along with me. Right. Very good. 8 9 are 72. But 79 minus 72 you got here remainder 7. Very good. Here you have to write dividend. Dividend is 79. Then what is divisor children? 8. Quotient is 9. And the remainder is 7. Well said children. Now let us do the next one. Look at this children. Here you have to divide and write dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder. Look at this problem. 150 divided by 6. Very good. Now you have to read and recall 6th table. Okay children, now do this division along with me. Very good. Here dividend is 150. Divisor how much? 6. Quotient is 25. And remainder is 0. Well done children. Now, let us see some assessment problems. Children, now see assessment problems. Here, look at this problem. There are 7 days in a week and 365 days in a year. How many weeks are there in a year? How many extra days are there? This is the problem. Look at this. Number of days in a week is equal to how many? Yes, 7. Now, number of days in a year is equal to? Tell children. Very good. 365. Now, number of weeks in a year is equal to? For getting this, what you have to do children? Very good. You have to divide 365 with 7. Okay, 365 divided by 7. 
look at this division okay do this division children here you got number of weeks in a year how many children 52 okay and number of extra days means what is the remainder here one so number of extra days one very good children you also try to do it in your notebook now let us see the next problem children try this divide and write dividend divisor quotient and remainder look at this problem 496 divided by 7 just recall seventh table children and then you do this problem along with me here you got dividend 496 divisor 7 quotient 70 and remainder is 6 very good children now let us do another problem children try this problem read it first 225 school children are to be divided into five groups how many children are there in each group what you have to do children yes very good you have to do division 225 divided by 5 Here, number of school children, two hundred and twenty-five. Number of groups to be divided, five. And number of children in each group is equal to two hundred and twenty-five divided by five. Then you got forty-five. Okay. So, how many children are in each group? Forty-five children are in each group. Children, do this sum in your notebook. and show to your teacher children try this look at this problem read it first what is given and what you have to do the product of two numbers is 168 okay and if one of them is 4 find the other number children the product of two numbers 168 one number is given here you have to find the second number okay what to do children see right writing steps the product of two numbers is equal to 168 very good one of them is 4 okay now the other number is 168 divided by 4 to find the other number what you have to do here is you have to divide 168 divided by 4 look at this division children you got 42 very good children do this sum in your notebook and show to your teacher children i hope you have enjoyed this chapter okay understood all the problems i feel very good children whatever you learn in this chapter you do it again and do all these assessment problems and show to your teachers let's meet in the next class